Arizona Department of Public Safety holding its first briefing this afternoon after the hazmat spill that shut down I-10 in both directions Tuesday afternoon. That closure lasted more than 28 hours. So the spill was caused by a deadly rollover crash involving a commercial truck carrying that toxic chemical a lot of people are still talking about. So let's get right out to News 4 Tucson's Eric Fink live near the scene. And Eric, what is the latest on this investigation? <laughs> Well, during that news conference a short time ago, Monica, DPS releasing the name of the driver who died on scene Tuesday afternoon. He was 54-year-old Ricky Immel from Nevada. Now, DPS and other agencies still working to find out what exactly caused this crash resulting in that chemical spill. DPS saying they got a call around 3 o'clock, shortly before 3 o'clock Tuesday, they say they shut down I-10 within 15 minutes of getting that call. The truck was carrying nitric acid, which was released into the air. That led to evacuations for some living nearby and a shelter-in-place order for homes within a mile of the spill. DPS praising the partnership and teamwork this afternoon between the agencies involved, including TFD and TPD. DPS says the truck ML was driving is owned by Landstar Trucking. DPS saying no other drivers played a role in this accident. The truck was traveling eastbound on Interstate 10 when it gradually left the left side of the roadway into the median, at which point it got into an uneven uh, section of ground and rolled over onto its left side coming to rest facing east. Um, so it's a gradu gradually left the road and rolled over onto its side, um, which very often is indicative of either a fatigue driver or someone who's had some sort of medical event that led to um, a, the loss of control of vehicle. And back at here live this afternoon, DPS saying that the Pima County, medical, uh, Pima County Medical Examiner will be doing an autopsy. Those results should be ready in a few weeks. Now, I have reached out to members of Ricky Imel's mm -hmm. family, and they are requesting privacy during this difficult time. More on this coming up at 6 o'clock. We're live for now on the south side. I'm Eric Fink, News 4, Tucson.